Hi, dogs. We are mathing in the wild, but there's a caveat here. I think that's the word. No math is allowed in this math in the wild. We are using congruent triangles, side angle side specifically. Can I see that right there, John? So I give them a 30 foot side, an included angle of 110 degrees, and a 40 foot. They have their transit right there, and they're trying to get this So they're going to set up their transit, zero it out, get a 30 foot length back. That's a fresh tape right there, isn't it? Show the people. People want to see it. 100% right there. So you use that for his 30 foot. Then they'll rotate 110 degrees, measure out 40 foot, they're going to put a couple markers, and then they'll measure that distance. They'll submit their answers. Now the group that is the closest to the actual, and we will map it up with non-right triangle tricks. Sorry, I just had some beef jerky. Okay. Okay. The one that's closest to the actual gets Yoro stickers. Oh. You only round once. What do you get? 58.7. Okay. 59.7. All right, 58 feet, 3 inches. Lock it in. 57 feet, 7 inches. Okay, everybody's getting right around that. So wait, between 55 and 60 feet. To try to figure out how to math it because it's not a right triangle, so we can't do Pythag. Can't do Pythag. So I'm wondering what we need to do. It's, it's called, it's called non-right triangle tree. Right? Law of cosine specifically. We will be going over that in a little bit. There it is. All the answers. All right, here you go, brother. Here's how you do this, all right? It's called law of cosines. 30 squared plus 40 squared minus two times the 30 times the 40 times the cosine of 110 degrees. Then you square root that number and you end up with 57.6268. So how do we convert that to inches? So I'm gonna subtract off the 57. I'll multiply that decimal by 12. We got seven and a half inches. So 57 foot, Seven and a half inches. Are you guys a half an inch off? Yeah. All right, winners. Eric, Nihal, Gavin, Alex, and who else? Uh, Mac. Mac. Mac Tech. Nice work, guys. Half an inch off. That was impressive.